You're watching Swimming World TV. I'm your host, Brent Rutemeller, and here we are in Washington, D.C. for the ASCA Clinic, and we ran into two young ladies who are swim coaches in Moscow, Russia, joining us. Uh, we have uh, Tatiana. Hello. Is that correct? <laughs> right. And we have Victoria. <laughs> yes. Last names Ko and Rovsky, Skoski. We'll leave it there. But uh, well, this is a this this is a great experience for you guys to be over here. I, so, they they coach uh, at the Anglo American School in Moscow. It's part of uh, a school for the diplomats' children who come over, and they're mostly Americans that you're mm -hmm. that you're teaching in in Russia. Yeah. And uh, so, what got you out here? Let's start with you. Uh, what brought you to Washington D.C.? We are here for World uh, ASCA Clinic and we really um, feel so proud to be here to learn and gain from um, lots of uh, professionals, to meet uh, coaches, to meet lots of uh, interesting people. So. That's awesome. So you, you, you belong to ASCA and I understand you're an ASCA 1 level and an ASCA 2 level yes. and are, are you aspiring to get, move all up and be certified in all levels? Yeah, yeah, we're inspired to do this, but unfortunately to get the level three, you're supposed to be, like, you're supposed to get some national level swimming, so unfortunately, because we're coaching age groupers, and mostly, uh, Did, we, yeah, we can, we can do it on national level. Yeah, but, but does this inspire you to, to coach different Different, uh, more other athletes or more accomplished athletes. Are, is there an is there an inspiration you're coming away with from here? Oh yeah, this clinic it's a brilliant a place where we can learn and be inspired by speakers uh, to learn more and. Um, uh, grow as a professionals and as a coaches because we coach uh, more age group swimmers, elementary school, but um, middle school as well, but not on international uh, level. I'm sorry. But yes, it would be, we, we gain lots of new um, drills and um, fantastic uh, experience and knowledge about like really. So, so what's, what inspired you most so far since you've been here? Uh, mostly, honestly, to see Bob Bowman. <laughs> because Bob Bowman, of course. <laughs> because I'm really a fan of Michael Phelps, and I made a study in my university about his technique, his swimming, his butterfly technique. So when I saw his coach, it was like most inspired for me, and I was like... It was blow mining for That's me. That's wonderful, Victoria. <laughs> yeah. So when, when you see somebody like Bob Bowman who's teaching on a very elite level, can, can you relate to what he's saying that you can bring back to the school? You understand the question, relate. I mean, can, can you take what he's mm -hmm. telling you and you, do you think you can get that into, the, into the, the minds of these young kids you're working with? I think so. We can um, transport it and bring it um, back to our work, but just, of course, we modified it by the level of our kids. But, of course, to see him, to listen to him, to learn from him, it's, it's a big luck. Yes. So, big luck. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Uh, my question, when you go back, will you how, what will you tell other people? Will you write something or will you sit down and, and, and talk to people about the experience? What, what will you say to them when you go back? Of course we will bring some new ideas from this Ask a World Clinic to bring all the like uh, drills or some principles of learning. Also we've been at the, at the topic about uh, how you should um, act during the swim meet and uh, we can take all this uh, knowledge back there and of course we will uh, talk with our team, our aquatic team and tell them all the stuff that we gain here, all this knowledge maybe to make some kind of presentation about yes. what we gain here so of course yes. First time in the United States? No, no, no? it's not my first time. No. Okay, and you first time? No, no, no? no either. Okay. <laughs> So, but th this is a wonderful thing for our countries to be able to do, yeah, yeah, and sure. and and hopefully, those type of relationships and communication can can go. 
uh, absolutely agree with you uh, because um, here in states we see um, a different school of teaching swimming uh, the way of creating workouts plans uh, to communicate with the kids how to give tips and feedback we learn a lot of a lot of uh, this uh, new methods for us because as a Russian swimmers in the past professional swimmers in the past uh, we have we see these differences and this positive um, I would say more maybe effective ways of coaching so we gain a lot of here bring it to Moscow and even teach Russian coaches how um, don't teach can... them too much <laughs> <laughs> so they see and they feel this difference how we act how we coach how we present ourselves how we give feedback and tips and drills, lots of new drills here, lots of new equipment at uh, this um, conference, lots of pedals and things. We don't have it in Russian and yeah. it's really Very good. Yeah. yeah. Our kids, our swimmers will be happy to see all these new gains from conference. Very, very good. Well, the it's wonderful that you're here and we're, we're glad with that. and. And you were a, um, a national freestyler for right. Russia, and you were a butterflyer. Yeah. Very good. And this is this is what brings us all together. Water brings us all together, and, sure and uh, that's wonderful for all of us. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Say, thank you. Very thank you. Much. Thank, thank you. you for this interview. You. Yeah. This is Brent Rudemeller saying, "If you want to win, first help someone else win."